Kia ora and welcome to another tutorial from daconane.com. In today's tutorial we're going to take a quick look at how to use the record audio block inside of Scratch so that you can make your own audio recordings that will play on any given trigger that you want inside Scratch. So let's get right into it. I've come to the Scratch homepage here and I'm going to create a new project by clicking on the create option up here. Point to note though, I'm logged in so anything I create I can save. If you don't log in, you can still create but you can't save. So it's best if you want to keep your work to make sure you've got uh, an account at Scratch so you can keep your work. So let's click on create. And here's the Scratch interface. Uh, and we're going to be using two blocks today. We're going to first of all use the events block. And the first block we want to use is the space block. I'm just going to magnify it here so you can see it. And when you click on the drop down box here, you've got lots of options. Now, bearing in mind we're using a makey makey, we've got the space up, down, right, and left arrow here. They're the ones we're going to use to start off with. You can use A, B, C, and D, etc. if you pin out at the back, but we're not going to do that at the moment. So I recommend you just use space down to left arrow, those five options there. Um, on our example, we're going to click on up arrow. So I've now chosen the up arrow option here. So when the up arrow key is pressed, and the next thing we want to happen is for a sound to play. So I'm going to use this top option here under the sound um, category. And we're going to drag this option out here that says play sound meow until done. Um, you don't want anything else. You don't want the start sound. You want to play until done. That's important and that will become important when we do a bit more coding a bit later on. But obviously we don't want to play the meow sound. We want to record our own sound. So um, I've clicked on the drop down box here. I'm going to click on record and this new option comes up and you can see my um, microphone is being picked up it means that the meter is working so I'm going to click on record now and as I record the option comes across here it's recording my voice I can talk for as long as I want to uh, you would be recording your the information about your endangered species um, a particular subject say habitat for example so let's click stop recording uh, we can trim anything out. Let's say that last bit was, um, I didn't want that and I wanted to start from here. Um, those bits that are inside the red will be trimmed out. Click save. There is my audio recording. I can listen to it if I want to. I don't. Um, but what I do want to do is not just call it recording one over here. I want to uh, actually give it a name. So let's say for example I've been doing some information about my endangered species habitat. I'm going to name it habitat and just press enter and you can see that the um, file name has been changed to habitat. So if I come across the code now it says here when up arrow key is pressed play sound meow. We don't want meow. I've got a recording now. I'm going to click on habitat. There we go, so I've now created a recording and when the up arrow key is pressed on my Makey Makey, the, video, the audio recording Habitat will play. Let's say we wanted to have several recordings, I'm going to duplicate this whole block, put this underneath, um, and let's say I wanted another thing happening, I'm going to choose a down arrow this time, um, and again, I just, just do it one more time, I'm going to click down here, I don't want Meow, I don't want Habitat, I'm going to record, and I'm going to talk about threats. So I'm going to click on record. Again, just make sure that my microphone is working by checking the meter uh, levels on the side here. It seems good. I'm not going into the yellow or the red, so it's not going to be too loud. I'm going to click record, and this would be my recording around the threats to my endangered species. Um, and so all the information and research that I've done around that, I'd be recording that. And finally, I finished, but I forgot to press click. So this empty space and my last bit of talking, I don't want that, so I'm going to slide that across. Um, let's just say, for example, this was me saying um at the beginning, and that's the recording I want. I can click play to make sure that's what I want to get before I um, save it, and click save. Remember, come up, it's not recording one, it is threats. 
and it's always a good idea to name all of your files no matter what you're doing what you expect to find inside that file be it a word document be it a presentation or in this case audio files press return it's now threats come across the code and again down here down arrow habitat no we want it to play threats and so you can keep building up all of the um, information that you want to play under a particular keystroke by you, um, assigning the audio to a particular keystroke and then recording the right audio file and assigning it to each keystroke and that's how you can build up um, your audio project uh, using a Makey Makey. Thanks for making it this far through the video I appreciate your attention and until the next video Kakitiano. <laughs>